What's going on? You're watching NFL Daily by Chat Sports. And if you're looking for the latest news and rumors, you are in the right place. And to make sure that you never miss any news, never miss any rumors, what I want you to do right now is click that subscribe button. We are 100% free for the next, wait for it, 365 days. So if you're looking for the latest NFL news, we're also just starting to ramp up NBA coverage as well. So go ahead and smash that sub button. Let's get into the latest news here. NFL playoffs in the bubble. Yeah. I like it. This is a good idea if, if you've been tracking the NBA at all, Mitch, because uh, they haven't had a positive test in, well, about a month now in Orlando, which means the bubble it's seems working. to be working. So why not do that for the NFL as well, at least for the playoffs? This was going to be too tall of a task, in my opinion, at least for one bubble to get all 32 teams in the same location. Right? Absolutely. There's just too much personnel, too many coaches many players but when you get into the playoffs less teams higher stakes shorter a period of time I think you can make this work and I think this makes a lot of sense go to the next story here and this one's a juicy one Yannick Ngakwe could be traded this is a report that apparently he could be traded either today or tomorrow that would be Thursday and it's for likely a second round pick now obviously he hasn't shown up for trading camp obviously he's been very unhappy and he's wanted to be traded all offseason but this could finally go down. And if it does, guess what? We're going to make a video about it. So another reason why you should subscribe. Yeah, exactly. And, and the thing about Yannick is if the Jags are willing to take a second-round pick at this point, especially before the season even starts where they For can sure. wait until, you know, closer to the trade deadline, that means they might just be fed up with this situation <laughs> at this point. They might say, ah, oh, top 50 pick, uh, we'll roll with that. Uh, you know, they were holding out hope for a first-round pick, Mitch. Didn't happen during the draft, around the draft, leading yep. up. You know, yep, yep, since yep. then it hasn't happened. Yannick is not, he's not showing up. He's not going to play for the Jags this season. At least it doesn't appear. So maybe it's just time to cut your losses and get, you know, an early day two pick. Very curious on where he ends up going. So what I want you to do is take a guess. Let us know where Yannick Ngakwe is going to play in 2020. Scroll on down. Let us know. Throw it in the comments section. I'm seeing some Jets, I see Raiders, I see the Denver Broncos. Let us know in the comments section. Let's now go to another player that could be on the trade block. So Bleacher Report wrote an article talking about a trade that every single team should make. One of the trades that they mentioned is shipping out Melvin Ingram, getting him out of the Los Angeles Chargers, and just trying to build some extra draft capital. Ingram wants an extension. He just saw teammate Joey Bosa get the bag, and he's like, wait a minute. I'm coming off of very, very sexful, sex, successful seasons, <laughs> and I need to get paid. <laughs> type S. Uh. Type, now I can't talk. Type S if uh, <laughs> Mitch sucks at talking. Um, this actually doesn't sound as crazy as, yeah. you know, on the surface it might seem. He's not getting paid that type you of money, You just paid though. Joey Bosa huge money. You can't invest another <laughs> 20-plus million in another pass rusher, Correct. especially if you're not quite in win-now mode. you got to start thinking about the future. Justin Herbert, your young quarterback, build more on an offensive side of things. Melvin Ingram's 31. That's I, the issue. It's a little surprising he's gotten up there, but he's 31 years old now. I don't know if, if investing in him makes sense. Maybe trading him is the better option. If you're the Los Angeles Chargers, if you think that you can win now, you keep Melvin Ingram. If you don't believe that you can win now, guess what you do? You ship him to another team. And maybe that's why it's a trade deadline type of trade. True. You see how the early part of the season goes. If, yeah, slow start, things aren't going so well, ship him off before the deadline. So here's some potential trade destinations for Ingram. You're looking at the New England Patriots. The Chargers have needed offensive line help for basically seems like my entire Phillip life. Philip Rivers' whole career, yeah, I'll right? tell you that. So maybe a trade with Joe Tooney could be there. The Buffalo Bills are always looking to add some extra pieces to that defense. The Giants, find your Dave Gettleman loves himself, <laughs> exactly. some, uh, some edge rushers. The Browns, the Colts, also two other sleeper teams that you could be on the lookout for. So we talked about two players to start this video, Yannick Ngakwe and Melvin Ingram. I'm going to make this the pinned comment on today's video. So for those of you that are watching this on YouTube, you might get with a YouTube ad break. I want you to scroll on down and let me know who the better player is. Type YN for Yannick Ngakwe or am I for Melvin Ingram? Let's go to the next story here, Harrison. It's around the Chicago Bears and is there going to be a quarterback platoon? Uh, you want to take this one? Uh, fake news Florio strikes again here, Mitch. Uh, this, this, this is a bad idea and really just reckless uh, – idea spieling from both Florio and Chris Sims on NBC Sports earlier to today. Uh, look, I get it. 
Foles and Trubisky, not what you're looking for in a starting quarterback, especially long term. But the idea of pff, we can't pick one, let's just play them both, Mitch. That doesn't really work. Uh, got, what's what's the old saying? You got if you got two quarterbacks, you don't have one, and that is kind of the situation here. Now, I, I, Adam Johns, who covers the uh, the Bears uh, for the Athletics, said, you know, Mitch looked bet. Looked pretty good uh, at day two that. of training camp. And, you know, they're going back and forth. And Matt Nagy has said, look, we're going to alternate days here. Mitch gets first team reps one day. Uh, tr uh, Foles gets him the next day. This is a true competition. But don't expect this to be a two-quarterback system. That is completely out of control. Now, I don't really like Mitchell Trubisky. And I'll be honest, I don't really like Nick Foles either. But I absolutely love these deals that we got going on right now. If you need a new T-shirt, we got you covered. Go to chatsports.com slash NFL shirts, so Nike shirts up to 20% off from sizes small all the way up to, I think, 4XL. So we got you covered. If you need a new t-shirt, it's high quality as well. So if you sweat, you're not going to be able to see it. It's not the super, super cheap cotton. Very, very nice shirts. The cool thing about a lot of these, and you've seen a couple of them on screen, you've got the short sleeve high performance Nike hoodies as well. A lot of these are on sale for up to 20% off. So that link is in the comments, it's in the description chatsports.com slash NFL shirts. And obviously, Mitch, getting back to this, this idea of a two-quarterback system coming from Florio and Sims, you got Trubisky, you got Foles. I, I switched it recently. All offseason long, I projected Foles as the starter, but since the offseason got wiped out, I, I've flipped it now. I do think Trubisky will start at least in week one and early on, and you know, depending on how he plays, that could certainly change. But I just don't see a scenario where both guys are being used in different situations, right? It'd be one thing if Trubisky, yeah, he's a good athlete, but it's not like he's Taysom Hill, right? Like where <laughs> you can come in, hey, it's third and two. Let's have Mitch run a quarterback sweep. That's not really what you're looking for. So I, this is not a good idea. I don't expect this to be the case. This is, you know, they're looking for clicks, and hey, guess what? It works because we're I mean, talking about it here on NFL this, Day. This is also the offseason where you see a lot of hype. You see a lot of people trying to create an excitement, and I've seen Mitchell Trubisky play. I'm not really worried about training camp. I've seen him play on field. Personally, for me, I'm going to say no. I'm good on both of them. I am going to go with a guy like Nick Foles. So who's the better quarterback? I'm typing NF. Harrison, what would you type? It, up to this point, it has to be NF. One guy won a Super Bowl and is 4-2 and two in the playoffs. At, you know, regular season hadn't been very good, but Trubisky hasn't been good in the regular season or the playoffs. So I'm going to go with the guy who's had playoff success. Let's stick here in the division with Dalvin Cook and the latest around him. We'll go through this one a little bit quicker here. He wants a top-end running back contract and has said for a long time that he thinks that he deserves to get paid. Now, he, didn't, he, he doesn't want to get paid or he does want to get paid like a top-five running back. However, I don't anticipate that happening, but... There is a report that came out today on Wednesday that contract talks have stopped at this point, and he is now just focusing on week one. What I think about is, hmm, could, could we see a, either Cook holdout or could Cook demand a trade? This, the problem Dalvin Cook is running into is he is an excellent running back, but he's not a top-flight Tier 1 running back. And I think moving forward, those are the only guys who are going to get paid major money. Now, could he get De Derrick Henry money, 10, 11, 12 million per year? Sure. Perhaps, but he's not getting McCaffrey. He's not Doesn't getting Zeke. It. Like, only the, the, the one percenters at running backs moving forward are going to get that money. The guys who can catch 100 balls and rush for 1,200 yards as well. Cook hasn't been healthy enough to prove that he can do that. Again, very good. Top seven or eight running back. Not quite that top two or three guy, though. So he's going to run into some trouble trying to get major money. So speaking of Derrick Henry, as you just saw him in that last graphic, who's the better running back, type C for Dalvin Cook or type H for Derrick Henry? I do think that Dalvin could blame like a player like Todd Gurley who's struggling with his knee injuries. Yep. You can blame a David Johnson. You could go out and blame a Le'Veon Bell. Bottom line is this. Running backs, they're not going to get paid big-time contracts. And I'm looking right now in the comments section. Y'all are typing H for Derrick Henry. But continue to let us know, type C for Cook or type H for Henry. We're going to stick here at the running back position Miles Sanders, the hype train around Miles Sanders is chugging along, but he's banged up right now. I've seen reports that he could miss week one. However, there was something that come out that said it's not serious at all. Yeah, yeah a little bit of conflicting information here. The, the hype, you're right about this. The hype train, it, it's, it, it's, it's, off, it's off the rails at this point. <laughs> Take him number one overall in your fantasy league. Don't do that. That's a, that's a little too lofty there. I do think he's obviously a key cog to this Eagles offense. 
uh, with especially the uncertainty at the wide receiver position. I do think he's primed for a breakout year. Hopefully he gets fully healthy. You know, this happens, right? Football yeah. players get banged up. It's about which players can manage their injuries the best. And, you know, if it's a major or minor injury. Obviously, this is not major. Don't worry, Eagles fans. I would expect him to be out there early on. Maybe yep. he takes more off days in training camp to get his body right. And I think he will do that. He's a young player from what I've seen from his tape, even at Penn State. It's been a player who hasn't really dealt with too many injury issues. He's a fun guy to watch. So the next story is going to be around a trade, so make sure that you guys aren't going anywhere. Royce Freeman to the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah, this is a trade rumor from Bleacher Report. So they put out an article about a trade that every single team should go out and make. They said the one that makes the most sense for the Seattle Seahawks, go out and get running back Royce Freeman from the Denver Broncos. Uh, I think they confuse the word most with least. This makes no, no sense, sense. <laughs> whatsoever. They've got plenty of running backs. I know Rashad Penny's hurt, but you brought in Carlos Hyde. I know Chris Carson's coming off injury, but why does Seattle need Royce Freeman? Like, decent player, rotation back. They got eight rotation backs. Like, <laughs> it, 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 it doesn't make any sense. This would be like if you were uh, to tell the Chicago Bears, go trade for a third-string tight end. Why? You got plenty of those. So this doesn't make sense for Seattle. They don't need any more running backs. If they wanted to get a guy who's purely a pass-catching back, okay, you could sell me on that. That's not really Royce Freeman, though, so I don't think this really makes a whole lot of sense. So here was the trade idea from Bleach Report. The Denver Broncos receive a 2021 fifth-round pick. The Seattle Seahawks, they receive Royce Freeman. So I chat sports, what do we want? We want you guys to go down there and vote. Who won this trade, okay? If this were to happen, who would win? If you think it's a Denver Broncos type D-E-N, if you think it's the Seattle Seahawks, I want you to type S-E-A. Harrison, I think you and I both agree that if this trade were to go down, I think the Broncos win this it's one. It's clearly Denver. They've got uh, Melvin Gordon and Philip Lindsay, who yeah. are not, not even up for debate ahead in the pecking order over Royce Freeman. To get a fifth-round pick for your third-string running back, clearly the Broncos win this trade if this goes down. And as you said, or as I said, uh, yeah, I totally agree. You go out, you get Melvin Gordon, who is a pretty solid running back, Philip Lindsay as well. Royce Freeman, I did like him a lot out of Oregon. And the only issue with me is I, I, I think Royce Freeman would be able to help their backfield, but that also means you're selling short on Chris Carson, who is one of the most underrated running backs in the entire league. You invested a first-round pick in Rashad Penny. You already went out and signed Carlos Hyde, and yeah, they have so many running backs. And if Chris Carson can just stay healthy. I know reports, and Bleacher Report leaned to this as well. The Seattle Seahawks want to run the football. That was the other reason why they said go out and get Freeman, because Chris Carson can't stay healthy. All I'm saying is this. Even if Chris Carson can't stay healthy, they have a whole bunch of other running backs. Let Russ cook. Let Russell Wilson continue to throw the football. I was going to say, this is all a mute point, because it's time for Seattle to, to, throw it. <laughs> to, to, to rely on a top three NFL quarterback in Russell Wilson. It's long overdue. Carson's fine. You don't need to go trade for Royce Freeman. You got Russell Wilson. Throw the football. Probably the best deal that I've seen in a long time offered here. Chatsports.com slash NFL shirts. Not only are they just NFL shirts, there's also these uh, awesome, awesome hoodies that you see here. Different colors, different sizes, high quality as well. They are from Nike. Wow, that is bright. Absolutely love it. Go to chatsports.com slash NFL shirts. <laughs> for those of you that are watching this on our live show, it's in the comments. It's in the description. And if you're watching this on a later date, well, guess what? You missed the live show. We go live every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, 3 p.m. Pacific. If you need a new shirt, I wore out my T-shirts during COVID. Definitely need a new one. Chatsports.com slash NFL shirts.